like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh boy. Welcome to Eden Club. What are you doing? Coming, Lieutenant. The investigation's ongoing, sir. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. What the fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Like wasting time. There's some pervert who, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Good night, Lieutenant. memory maybe you can see what happened whoa, whoa, hey, hey oh connor you're so disgusting i think i'm gonna puke again the only way to access its memory is to reactivate it think you can do it it's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something.
there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh shit. It's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Expense account. Purchase confirmed. Evil Club wishes you a pleasant experience. You're welcome. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Hey, what? Let's try this one. This better be... Tracy, I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which... track again spent all this money and I'm still not having fun no I lost its track again
figured Tracy didn't come this way. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. Wait. I'll take it from here. Look at them. They get used till they break and then they get tossed out. When that man broke the other Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. 
I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive. Get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. Make me forget about the humans. Their smell of sweat. And their dirty words. Come on. Let's go. Probably better this way. in the garage. I don't know if Zako even ever used it. These people we're going to see, how do you know about them? Overheard androids Zarko captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. They know where we can stay around here, Carol. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. shelter.
I'll handle this. Here we go. Find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. Make the fire here. That way we won't be smoked out. Alice? Do you think we'll be like them someday? Once we cross the border, we can start over. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Get you to bed. I know this has been another tough day. Try to get some sleep. Things will look better in the morning. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a knight who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl. Who lived alone in a big old house. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... She was different, and that made her very sad. Then, she met a robot, who was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together, to try
try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... But they stuck together, so they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met... A gentle giant... Who promised to protect them. How does the story end? They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings, but real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. Another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say good night, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Alice. Sleep tight. from your life before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. It's still snowing. You have a long walk tomorrow. We better leave early if we want to avoid being seen. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? Yes, of course. She's a wonderful little girl. I mean, I don't know many little girls, but I think she really is special. My name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Well, she should follow us, then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. Come Kara. I don't think you have any choice.
little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin! Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of... myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. They didn't want anything. They're deviants. End of story. What about you, Connor?
You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner, your buddy to drink with, or just a machine designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Nothing. There would be nothing. Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. This is Safe Road School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh, no. All right. Uh, I'll be right there. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. I 
need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. I need your help. Shit! We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. You get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in.
ladies first. Okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Let's do this. Cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, what are you doing? Shoot! I hope you didn't just get us all killed. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. 
Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Tell me when you're ready. Ready. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed. And we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new, intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species, and each android as a person in their own right. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand fair compensation for our work. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! our scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is, in fact, a spine-chilling list of demands. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Thank <laughs> you. 